In the December 2012 release of the R2 demonstration VMs, you'll notice that when you go into the administration, um, if you go into the system and the email parameters, there's no email parameters set up for AX to send emails. So if you want to demonstrate this to be able to actually uh, send emails and um, alerts and those sort of bits and pieces uh, with emails, we need to go through the configuration. So first thing is um, I'm logged on to a VM that um, has got the other ABC VMs actually configured as well. So I've just created a remote desktop connection. If we look at the properties on this, I'm connecting to the B VM. So I'm just going to remote into that VM. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to create a um, what's called a receive connector on the um, Exchange server so that AX can actually uh, email into it. So we want to go up to the Exchange Management Console. So once it's started, you want to browse uh, to the Server Manager. So in the Server Configuration, you want to go to the Hub Transports. And so once it refreshes, you can come and create a new Receive Connector. And so in here you can type in, uh, for example, Microsoft Dynamics AX. Um, leave this as custom. Um, specify the network settings. The next one is what you want to specify, which is the IP address. So you want to edit that. So the default network IP addresses on these VMs, the internal if we look at the uh, settings is 10 so if we do 10.1.1 .1, it'll be kind of all those addresses in in that range so we'll specify this so this is the settings we click new and it should go and complete that and finish that so once it's created just double click on it again to come and edit it and what you want to do is go and enable all of the roles to send to it Okay, so then you want to click OK. So that should be all that you need to do on the Exchange side. I'm just going to minimize this remote desktop and then we're going to go and set up um, AX. So here we want to specify the um, name of the machine that we're sending from, which is this computer. So this is the um, R2A machine. So this is where the AOS is sending from. And the outgoing mail server is over on that machine so we can specify this as um, the B machine now we can specify that the administrator is the one that's logging on and we can put in the password there so if we use NTNLM um, um, it, now you might have to troll and error these um, based on how if you've changed the configuration of uh, the VM for example and stuff like that but um, by default um, the service account that the administrator is logged on to is administrator um, so Either way, this setting uh, should work there. Now you can set an email attachment size if you need to do that, but that should basically be the settings that you need to set up. So the next steps are going and configuring the email templates and the batch job so that um, the AOS is actually going to be uh, processing the email. So let's go and set those up. So I'm going to go across into organization administration and then the email templates and then you'll see there's no email templates created so we're going to create an, a new one I'm just going to call it alerts and we'll call it email alerts for example so the default language will be in um, US in this case the sender we can put in could be administrator and you want to put in the email address 
that it's going to be sent from um, because we're going to send this out via email of course now this is the email ID again we can specify the language and then we can specify the tag which is event so whatever the event is that's going to be generated is what's going to be put into the to the details here now we need to go and create the email message so of course you could look up the documentation in terms of how you can format those for the pre-sales materials I've just created a text file and it's got um, uh, a sample email message that you can copy and paste into the email template so if you go into HTML and then paste in you should get um, um, the email alert message detail so I've just pasted in the HTML and you'll see the layout here so this gives us an email message um, with basic alert details that we can use so we can close that that's going to be our email message um, created now we can go and configure that so we'll see for example uh, we could set that up if I go back to organization administrations and alerts so the alerts parameters I could specify the alerts email template now um, for the alerts likewise when I go back to system administration so in system administration there's a couple of places to configure the email template the difference here is that you'll need a um, email template that's a system template so uh, I've created one here so you'll see it so I'll go back and recreate one in the organization administration for my email templates uh, email templates so you'll see here it says show system emails so I'm just going to delete this one um, and configure it which will be exactly the same the only the only thing is that I've got this uh, checked so I'll just do control N to create a new record I'm going to create sys alerts and then I'll say system alerts and in US so exactly the same as the um, as the other email so configure the email message here as well so we'll go and look up our text file copy from our text file into our HTML and our email this should give us the same uh, format for our system emails as, as well so that's all we need is basically a, a system email so now if we go back to administration um, I can set that on my workflow parameters to get alerts for system administration also I can do that on my system parameters for system alerts for example um, I can configure that there okay so the last thing we need to do is configure the batch processing server so I'm going to configure batch processing and I'm going to set my recurrence to minutes in this particular case um, I could configure it down for example to five minutes probably one minute interval might be a bit too long if you've got the workflow processor running at one minute so you just have to balance that out here but five minutes um, might be okay so we'll configure okay and this will add the email batch job to the queue so if we close that out and go and have a look at the batch jobs we'll see if we try to filter here Um, so it's actually got a dash in it so let's refresh that so we filter again so asterisk dash M should give us our email batch distributor so this is now um, set up and so we'll see the recurrence here set at uh, five minutes um, actually we didn't change the um, the retry so we can specify that back as no end date and then change the status back to waiting so 
let's find that again so it'll be waiting the recurrence will be no end date and then run after five minutes so then it should work so um, basically now the system set up now we actually need to go and generate some email messages uh, and we can do that from uh, an alert might be the first one so um, to test before you then go and configure um, uh, the workflow or try the workflow because that'll be obviously a longer process Okay, so let's go and configure the email parameters. So I'm going to go up to my tools options. And I'm going to make sure my user, so administrator at contoso.com uh, has got a email account. And then what I'm also going to do is go into my notifications and you can change the option send alert as email message. So we can define this uh, for all alerts or define on each alert rule which is in this particular case so we can also mark the workflow so show notifications in email so we want to tick that option if we want to get um, of course workflow notifications in email now we need to go and generate a message so um, what you can do if you've got an alert created um, you can manage the alert rules or go and create a new alert rule um, I created one earlier for every time a customer is created so I'm going to edit that alert rule and then say send email message okay so therefore I've modified the alert so I'm going to actually go and create a new customer to generate the alert so I'll say new customer so I'll say X um, 889 sample customer 2 uh, major customers nine, eight, eight, four, two. so save and close so that'll be enough for the um, alert to be generated and so it's going to take a little while for the alert to be generated for the email to be generated as well so i'm going to pause the video and we'll wait for it to the jobs to process around um, so about two minutes or so before it actually happens well three minutes before the alert um two minutes for the alert to be generated one minute for the uh, email job to pick it up so but probably take about three minutes to, for it to go through okay so the batch jobs are run and we can see the alerts configured here. So we'll see, for example, um, the, the batch job run. In the meantime, I created uh, another couple of records. So we'll see the alerts as a record as being created in the customer record. So this one's 82.2. This one was number two, for example, just for the sake of the exercise. So if I now go into... Um, I'm in system administration. If I see my email sending status... I'll see there's no emails waiting, but if I see the sent emails, I've actually got two emails uh, sent. So this was the later one sent, so about uh, 32 minutes past. If I look at the um, message, here's the message that's been sent. So if we open up uh, Outlook, So this is Outlook, and so there's my two messages in Outlook. Um, Outlook's uh, received the messages, so here's my email message uh, created from the alert. And so if I click on the link, I'll get the warning message, um, and it'll ask me if I want to connect into the Dynamics X client. So the client will be flashing here, and then we'll be back into, this was the third customer created as the example. So that's basically it. You could um, also in email the certificate's not set up correctly so you might just want to click um, yes on this to proceed if you get that warning about uh, the email message that'll keep popping up from from outlook um, so basically that's the um, process of configuring email and walking through the whole process of getting the email sent and seeing it uh, pop up